in the apartment in Seattle. We moved in, say, three, four weeks ago. So it's been a long time adjusting, and we also got another family member, Yuki. Come here. Here's little Yuki. He was sick too for a week, so I had a hard time taking care of him because he was sick. So here he is. There's Miss Mimi. She rode with us on the airplane and she was a good girl. Mm -hmm. It's probably because I gave her Benadryl. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me show you how I have my orchids all set up and give you a little tour. So. So this is my current grow space. I set up a baker's rack. There's about four shelves. Here we go. I am at an east facing window. So these orchids get a lot of bright light, but not a lot of direct sunlight. On the top there, I've got my bubble phyllum and my pedlum. Both of them are okay. So on the second shelf, I have my bandas. Right there. Also, I have my Tolumnia. And I have my prize position. My Eclandia. It's out of Jaguar. The buds bloomed and they fell off a week after. I think it's because of the climate change, so. Well, here's my Galenium. Doing okay. That is my current situation right now. 53% humidity, 75% and 75 Fahrenheit. And I have more of my cat layers on that shelf down. Then on the bottom shelf, I've got my dendrobiums, my nosma and my variegated dendrobium Valiatum. And then I have my other cat Leia. Uh, when I came over, that Catlea had flowers and they dropped like a week ago. What's that? So yeah, there's my little grow space. I have it in my living room. It's still a little mess, so pardon us. In our kitchen. And I went to Trader Joe's and I got another bell. Cute little flowers. You see there, I bought a humidifier. It worked for about a week and then it failed on me. Um, so let me know what kind of humidifiers you guys use and what you recommend. But so far they're doing okay without the humidifier. I noticed with the humidifier, my bubble fell on. Its leaves were amazingly hard, but right now they're a little leathery and flexible, so yeah. let me know what kind of humidifier you use. So yeah, thank you again for watching my videos. I'll probably be um, updating you guys on my repotting adventures, and um, yeah, let me know how you guys create humidity for your indoor orchids. Um, besides using a humidifier or if you know any brands that you suggest let me know um anyways until then thanks for watching bye bye